My name is Nicole, and this is my story of hope. Methamphetamine was my drug of choice, along with opiates. When I was 25, I became an IV drug user, and I used IV drugs until I was 32. I always knew I had a problem, because it was not the way that my life was supposed to be. We found a rehab for me to go to. Every rehab I was supposed to go to fell through. All of a sudden, the next door was there. I'd never heard of it, never even dreamed of it. So I talked to one of the interns here like the very next day, and in two weeks, I was here. When I walked in the doors, people just showered me with love. And of course I was nervous, I was scared. I didn't know what to do. My whole life had been a train wreck and I wanted to hold on to that, but I had to let go to get better. When I look at my life today, it's amazing. I had treatment, I had one-on-one -on -one counseling, I had groups. One-on-one -on -one counseling is the one thing that stands out to me the most because I was able to sit down with somebody and we were able to just dig down to what the root of my problem was. Where did my drug addiction stem from? And if I wouldn't have had that, I wouldn't have been able to live the life I live today, to be able to move forward. To me, I needed the structure until I got ready to move somewhere else. And that's what I got there. I got structure and I got freedom and I got the chance to be with my children again. Because that's what it means to me to be at the Freedom Recovery Center was that I had a chance to be happy. Today, my life is um, peaceful. I have joy in my life. I have my own apartment. I have the same job that I started while I was here in the six month program. I started as a cashier, I'm an assistant manager now. I'm getting married in May. I have a new car. <laughs> I have a checkings account, I have a savings account, I have credit cards now. Like, that's amazing, all in itself. When I think of two and a half years ago where I was at, it's like my life has been transformed. Some days I just think how grateful and how blessed that I am that I'm here, that I made it. In my welcome bag, I had a Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. And still to this day, I read it every day. This is my home. That's what I tell anybody, like that's home. When I come back to go to um, events or when I come to see people, it's, you know, I'm coming home. Because this is the place that made me feel like I was at home. The hope I would give anyone coming into recovery is don't give up before the miracle. They don't care where you've come from or what you've done. They just want to help you get to where they know you can be. I don't have to be alone anymore. I have people that stand beside me now.